Hi all, this is Jim and Jackie. They both had trouble and weren't able to see things a bit clearly. So, their mom took them to the ophthalmologist, that is, the eye doctor. After examining, the doctor said it's just a simple case of myopia for Jim and hyperopia for Jackie. They seem to be very complex words. What exactly is it, doctor? Asked Jim and Jackie's mother. Doctor said, don't worry, Jim is having short-sightedness, that is myopia, and Jackie is suffering from long-sightedness, that is hypermetropia or hyperopia. In order to correct it, we will have to make use of concave and convex lens. But what are concave and convex lenses? A concave lens is a lens that possesses at least one surface that curves inwards and is thinner from at its center when compared to its edges. It is a diverging lens meaning that it spreads out light rays that have been refracted through it. A convex lens is a lens that possesses at least one surface that curves outwards and is thicker at its center when compared to its edges. It is a converging lens, meaning that it merges out light rays that have been refracted through it. Do you think these lenses are used in our daily lives? Yes, a lot of time. For example, cameras, microscopes, pair of glasses, magnifying glass, rear view mirrors, car headlights, etc. In order to study more about these lenses, let's jump to a simulator. On the screen, we can see a simple setup that has an object with F written on it. We can switch it on and off using the green and red buttons on the side. Next, we have a screen on which we will observe the formed image. There is a scale so that we can measure the lens and a lens holder in the center. We can also see there are two trays with fragments of convex and concave lens. We have left, right and front views. You can zoom in and zoom out. In this simulation, there are total eight objectives. We will focus on objective one, two, six and eight in this video. The first objective is to find the focal length. But what is focal length? Suppose we have a convex lens and a concave lens like this. The line we see which is passing from the center of the lens is called as the principal axis. Now along these lines, let us imagine a beam of light which is parallel to the principal axis incident onto both the concave and the convex lens. In a convex lens, the rays of the beam will converge and will be focused on a point as we can see and this point is called the focus. In the case of concave lens which diverges light, the ray of light appears to diverge from a point. This is the focus of the concave lens. By keeping the things we just studied in our minds, we can say the convex lens has real focus as parallel rays incident on it actually passes through focus while in a concave lens the focus is virtual as the parallel rays incident on it appears to diverge from this point. They are not actually coming from that point. It is represented by F. The distance between the center of the lens, also called pole, and the focus is called the focal length. It is denoted as small f. Now we know what focus and focal length means. We can go ahead with the simulation. Firstly, let's turn the laser on and create the convex lens by clicking here to assemble the lens shards into the lens holder. Now our lens is ready. We can see on the top of the object, it says place object at infinity. After clicking on that, our object is kept at an infinite distance which is almost at the end of the physics lab. Now, we need to see how and at what distance the image will be formed on screen. 
you can slowly slide the screen and see at what distance the image is formed. Well, at 30 cm, we can see that the screen glows and we can see a real, inverted and highly diminished image. Now, what does this real, inverted and diminished mean? Real image is formed by actual intersection of light rays and can be obtained on a screen. Inverted image is not only upside down, but also the left and right of the image is also interchanged. Like we can see in this image here. Diminished or highly diminished image is, as the name suggests, is smaller than the object image. Now we can see a small box at the right top corner. We need to enter the value of the focal length that we have obtained here. Let's try the number 55. Ah, oh, it's wrong. We got the focal length as 30. This is correct and this takes us to the next objective which says obtain a real, inverted and diminished image. We can also see that near ruler there is 0, f that is focal length and 2f that is double the focal length. The laser is on and in this objective we need to set the object beyond the 2f. Keep dragging the object holding it from the base till the base glows to set it perfectly or simply click on set object. You can also click on set screen which is mentioned at the right side of the screen. What we need to find out here is when we are using convex lens and the object is beyond 2f where the image will be formed that is the position of the image what will be the nature of the image and what will be the size of the image so let's find out let's drag the screen till we see the base glow like it is in the case of the object or you can use the set object and set screen buttons on the right we can observe that at 50, we can see the base is glowing and we can also see an image on the screen too. Now, how can you analyze this image? In order to see the image better, you can slightly tilt the screen towards the left and zoom a bit. We know we need the answer of three questions, position, nature and the size of the image. The position of the image is between F and 2F. The nature of the image is real and inverted. Now, why are we saying that the image is real? Since the light rays are actually intersecting, hence we are saying that the image formed is real. Now, the size of the image is smaller when we compare it with the object. Hence, we can say that the image is diminished. To see the ray diagram, click on the button on the center. The greenish blue lines that we see are the ray of light and the white line is the principal axis which passes exactly from the center of the lens. So from the second objective we can conclude that when the position of the object is beyond 2f then the image formed is real, inverted, diminished and between f and 2f. Try the simulation by yourself and check the results for objectives 3, 4 and 5 and let us know about the same in the comments below. The next objective is 6. For the objective 6, the object is set between 0 and F. The image is formed behind the lens as we can see. Let's see the ray diagram for the scene. It can be observed that we have backdrawn the rays to obtain the position of the image and when we backdraw the image, it is called as a virtual image. A virtual image is an image formed when the outgoing rays from an object always diverges. This image is also erect or upright, that is the image appears right side. and. It is very clearly visible that the image is magnified. 
Now when we jump to the objective 8, we now have to use the concave lens. The next what we do is to set the object. Here the object is to be set between F and 2F. Let's do that. We can see that the image is formed between P and F and behind the lens, the image created is virtual, erect and diminished. Why don't you guys try the simulation using the Scholar app and let us know in the comments about the size, nature and position of the image. Well, these are the eight objectives that we just studied for concave and convex lens. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this session. This session is based on an interactive 3D simulation called Scholar. Visit www.scholarlab.in to request a download of the software application to try this out for yourselves. Till then, keep watching, keep learning and follow your curiosity. Thank you.